And so we near the halfway point of the Golden Team Mobile World Championship Qualifier. And we got ourselves the one seed Luna and the eight seed Calzone 821. You see the eight seed there. Uh, Calzone, we got to change your shirt, brother. Like, you're really good at this game. You got to get out of the basic blue. Let's talk about it afterwards. Good luck to you. Luna, of course, the get up here. We've seen Luna nearly qualify for this event over the last few weeks. Was so close in week three. That average score is absolutely absurd. And onwards we go. Up and over that castle gate. Beautiful gate there. That's given some people some problems. Given me some problems uh, so far in this qualifier. Uh, I, I just have problems with it regularly. Calzone going to try to follow suit. Maniacs up and over. No issues there. So both players clear on hole one and onwards to our approach shot. Kind of a tricky little pin here up front. Calzone going super sticky. It's tracking short. Uh-oh. Right away, we're going to have an uncomfortable chip. See Luna clubbing up. Bam! Just fun watching those snipers land, creating the little golf earthquakes, and then boom, right in the hole. No drama. Calzone trying to chip up. It's left. It is left. Thought maybe the hole would reach out and just grab that thing. It did not. So Calzone, out of the gate, is down one stroke. Plenty of time. Let's not panic. Everyone remain calm. Nine hole match, as you see there. Single elimination. Winner at the end of nine moves on. Boom! Oh, wow. Luna is putting the pressure on early. I was going to say that great shot points are a tiebreaker. Calzone with the chip. Oh, my goodness. He almost dunked in the little kind of baby line drive. That hole is fun. More chipping. The, the more chipping in these, the better I enjoy these matches. So, no great shot points there because these guys, the hole was too short. But the, if there is a tie, and we've seen it, the, the player with the most great shot points will prevail. Otherwise, winner moves on. You know the drill if you've been watching these. And thank you for your support if you have. Okay, hole 12, two-shot par four. Nice-looking wind. You see Luna go up the right side. You see Calzone go up the left. Luna is first. Snipers are getting a workout so far. That ball's tracking really nice. Would have been GSPs, but just landed and trickled off. Uh, just a little beyond, but that's good. Calzone getting aggressive with the spin. I like this shot a lot. I like. Oh my goodness! It literally hopped over the hole. Literally. Oh, Calzone, that's a tough break, brother. Hopefully, we're still cool about the whole shirt thing. I'll throw one in your account as a as a result. My bad. Um, great, great shot there. Oh, how did that not go in? And so it's still a one-stroke lead. Love this par five. So many different ways to play. Everybody's got a different strategy. Uh, that's a fun one for Luna there. Kind of up, cuts it over left to right through the trees. That's position A, Calzone. A little less cut. That's going to get some, there's some trees involved. It, it, it hits that second one, it looks like, but still has a shot at the green. Throw on that Ranger and the cut. That, that's got to stop. That's got to, that's not, that's a tough look. I've seen that shot. If you're wondering why I got sad immediately, here's the problem with this shot. If you overcut this, the st that is such a steep slope that unless you get into the sand, you've got problems. Luna, get you see that a little bit less cut, but obviously a much better position, uh, a little less distance for that second shot. That's a great look at Eagle. Calzone trying to get the chip on there, get aggressive. It's a good attempt at it, good crack at it, but this looks like we're going to lengthen the lead here a bit. Luna, there's another Eagle. That's a really, really solid Eagle on Calzone for par, and suddenly... We've got ourselves a three-stroke lead after four holes. Not dead yet, but a suboptimal position for Calzone. Luna bombs away. Very, very safe. Not within that GSP circle. We're still waiting for GSPs, but that's a good shot. Can we get some here with Calzone? Also going with the wind cutter. Looks like he's going to cut the hole in half. Love the look here. And just short as well. Luna taps in for birdie. Calzone. Going to make this one for birdie, eight feet. Okay, so these two have not seen each other's matches. We're splicing these together. I'm watching them um, for the first time. So Calzone doesn't know what Luna is shooting at this time. However, I think Calzone knows, he's played in these before, that he's got to be aggressive. He's got to make something happen here. So let's see how aggressive he will be and if he can cut into this deficit at all. Not a great hole to do that. It's a really good shot right there. But a tough pin to really be aggressive with. The problem, uh, as we've seen with Luna these past few weeks, really, really solid. Uh, rarely makes a ton of mistakes. 
And so when you talk about chasing shots here, this is not the player you want to be chasing shots with. Par 5 through the opening. I've hit that wall a lot. They should just name it after me. They have like the brick there sponsored by Adam Kramer's Bad Golden Tee Shots. Um, yeah, that little pillar right there. You see that? Oh, oh gosh, it gives me like PTSD from seeing that. I, I Again, I've hit it a lot, folks. It's it's not good. But both of these players are fine. Calzone up and over with some roll. See how far it rolls up. Come on. That's going to be uh, – that's not an easy putt from there. Again, a tricky pin to get at as far back as it is. You see Luna uh, knowing that. Adds the extra distance with the Maniacs. That's a really good-looking line. Really good-looking line. That Maniacs, that thing might have gotten in, uh, but the Maniacs spin keeps it there. Boom. Well done, Calzone. Well done, sir. Polite golf clap. Luna, golf clap for you, too. Why not? Very nice. And onwards to the hole 17. Good look here. When that pin is up or that bottom right-hand corner, it's tricky, but this is a nice look, nice win. Um... Honestly, it's not the, the look that Calzone needed. Calzone needed something difficult to try and get Luna to miss. As a result, both of these guys in position A. It's going to be a break putt. Oh, it hangs on there. So birdie and Luna with basically a straight putt knocks in the birdie as well. Need a miracle here, Calzone. I'm just I'm just saying, brother. Like I, I, I've been there, and this is, again, a really good look. Some of the best most favorable looks we've seen on this course for sure. That's perfect. More or less a straight shot. You don't have to worry about that giant tower in the way. Bombs away here for Calzone. Excellent shot. Both of these two guys taking advantage, but that's not good news for Calzone. Luna taps in his eagle. What a clean round that was. Calzone follows up with his eagle, and there you have a three-shot victory. Luna, who's been so close for, to qualifying for the Worlds, is in the semifinals. Calzone will make another crack at this next week. We will see you guys soon.